Hey guys, so um, I kind of decided that I would, instead of making like a schedule and stuff, I would kind of, I don't know, I'm not really into posting as much anymore because I have school now and I'm more busy, but um, I'm, I am going to try to find a time that I can do um, CD updates, and this is not, not all of these are really recent, but a lot of these are recent, and then some of them are from summer and like around there so like these are my this is a big pile of cds that i'm going to show you today um or tonight i guess but um yeah i'm just going to try to do these hopefully you find them interesting because i'm not going to do them like at least like one cd every video so here comes the big stack well here's my first one it's uh three days grace um self-titled i'm pretty sure um this is a really good album it has a lot of the singles like the really famous ones like i hate everything about you just like you um yeah so it's a good album i'm pretty sure i don't know but yeah never mind but it's this is a good cd go get it three days grace is a great band okay you guys might hate me for this next one but i am not strictly metal and i am not a fanboy Emblem 3, nothing to lose. Honestly, this album is fantastic. Um, it's completely different than any other type of band like this. Um, I'm very impressed with them. I don't know. I, I am a little bit ashamed to say that, but it's very good. Give this album a chance, though. It's not, it's not your typical One Direction type stuff. It's actually... Like, it could even be... Even, like, the instrumentals could be related to Sugar Ray. I, I'm going out on a limb and saying that because it's true. Next we have Tonight Alive, What Are You So Scared Of, which is a good CD. Um, has most of their famous songs, Breaking and Entering, Exit, Exit, Exit. Oh, wait, no, damn it. Eject, Eject, Eject. I, I haven't heard and listened to them in forever, so. Um, uh, yeah. Mark Hoppus is on this album. Uh, Listening is a great song. Um, Starlight is another great song. This, this album is, is great. Check them out if you're into the newer type pop punk. Owl City, Ocean Eyes. I love this album. It's My sister has this album. I wanted to get it because I love... Owl City is one of my favorite artists of all time. So this one's definitely a really good CD. Safety Suit, Life Left to Go. It's a great band. Um, they're really good. Um... They, they've had at least one single off of this album, which was Stay, and I remember hearing that song a long time ago and thought it was really perfect, so I listened to the rest of the album, and it's all perfect, honestly. Megadeth, Euthanasia, um, this is a great album too, my friend got me into this album, and Megadeth in general, I mean, I was never really into the whole classic metal, I know it's kind of weird. Um, but I never really gave it a chance, or really, never really attracted me, but it's starting to attract me more as I listen to it, and Mike and F is one of them, so check out this album if you're into, I mean, if you're into classic metal, you probably already know this album, or have heard it, and you may not like it, I don't know, but I love it. I still really want to get a couple more albums by them, too, so I want to get a lot more albums in general. There's so many out that I want that are coming out soon. Um, yeah, so... Motion City soundtrack, even if it kills me. Um, this is another awesome CD. Uh, yeah, there's not much more to say. It's really colorful. Um, but check them out if you're into kind of softer type stuff. Um, they're really good. Yes. Speaking of Sugar Ray, whoops, the best of Sugar Ray. Um, this has like all the singles every morning. Um, when it's over, I couldn't think of it. Someday, uh, fly, obviously. So, okay. Diamond Eyes by Deftones. Um, this record got me into Deftones. Um, it's really an awesome record, even though it's kind of a little bit bland at times. Uh, they do, they still do everything so well, and they're they're really good. So, Deftones never disappoint. And continuing. Continuing with Devtones is Koino Yokan, another great, awesome album. I like this one a little bit more than Diamond Eyes, even though Diamond Eyes got me into Devtones, but this one is also, this one's just amazing. 
Seriously, I love every song on that album. Freaking yes. The Contortionist signed. And I am lucky because I didn't, I saw them live a while ago, but I didn't get, get this signed. But we got it online. I don't know who wanted to sell this. I mean, I mean, it's good on my part, but I'm really glad to have it. So, And the album. Seriously, probably one of my favorite albums of all time. It's amazing. Still need to get Exoplanet and Apparition. So, yeah, and whatever. They come out with another thing. Here comes my second favorite band of all time, Sunny Day Real Estate with Diary, right? Yeah, Diary, just making sure. Um, this one's more of their mellow side. Um, they've always been mellow, mellow, but this one's like uh, more rockish mellow. Like their newest mellow stuff was kind of atmospheric and stuff, but this is this is some depressing but really good music. So check it out. Sex, like I said, second favorite band of all time, and continuing with them is the Rising Tide. I got into this from my sister once again, and I wanted to buy this, so I did. And of course, I don't regret it because this album is beautiful. It's my favorite album by them. That's their more newish mellow side. The plot and you. Um, Firstborn. It took me a while to get this and another one in there. And another one that's coming up that I really wanted for a long time. This album got me into them, obviously. Uh, Wife Beater is also amazing, but this is what got me into the plot in you, and it's amazing. Awesome album. Seriously. It's an awesome, uh... Oh, what's the word? Concept album. Uh, about an abusive father, and it's amazing. One of us is the killer uh, the Dungeon Escape Plan. I was gonna say Bring the Horizon, uh, but um, I still haven't scratched it all off yet, but this is really cool, so. And the album is perfect, I love it. Um, Altered State, Tesseract, another perfect album. Uh, this album is seriously an experience, like, every song leads into each other, it's like one big song, and it's seriously. You do not understand this album until you listen to it. It's amazing. It's so good. Check it out. Legitimately. And finally, the last one here is one that I've wanted for the longest time, like Firstborn. And this is becoming one of my favorite albums of all time, for sure. So, Smashing Pumpkins, Melancholy, and, Infin and the Infinite Sadness. Oh my gosh, this whole album is amazing. All... Almost all. The only song I don't like on this is Zero. I feel like it was really poorly made and kind of like last minute. But um, this album is amazing. Um, it's so good. It has obviously 1979 and Tonight, Tonight Tonight, some of the biggest singles on this album. But it also has all of the really quiet, like potential potential type songs. Like they're amazing. Cupid de Lot, Galapagos, Here's No Why. Take Me Down, Jelly Belly, um, Bullet with Butterfly Wings to Forgive. It's, it's a perfect album. Check it out. And I cannot forget one more thing. One more thing. My sister is awesome. So when she came back from her trip to Nevada, she got me a vinyl of a CD I already had. And um, this album is fantastic. Doppelganger by The Fall of Troy. Seriously amazing so glad to have it on vinyl I, this is my first vinyl so it's really really freaking cool and i love her so much but i loved her before this but she's just amazing so thanks to her and yeah i can't wait to get an actual thing to listen to that on because so that is my cd cd update um i will probably keep doing these every time i get a big stack and hopefully i'll get a big stack but um yeah, that's it. And hopefully the series was is going to be interesting to you because I definitely like doing it and showing what I've gotten. I'm getting some in the future. Just pre-ordered Glass Clouds' new EP, which I'm very excited for, even though the single that they released was kind of boring. But um, I'm very excited for that because I heard the preview and Glass Clouds amazing. Hopefully I get Tomorrow We Die Alive, um, Disperse Living Mirrors, um... Shell's new album when it comes out, after the Burials album when it comes out, and hopefully I'll start posting more of these, uh, but I'm sorry that I've been gone, I'm just really busy, 
Hopefully I'll come back next summer or something. I don't know. Or sooner than that. Spring break. Christmas. Christmas break. I may, I may come back. We'll have to see. But, um, hopefully I will. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.